so quick recap folks on day one we learned om mani padme hum or om mani padme hum where you can do that meditation anytime you are about to do some channeling or anytime you are going to do something spiritual or anytime you just want to experience inner peace or divine connection anytime you want to open your crown chakra like anytime you are doing a uh, work that requires mental uh, aptitude you can do om mani padme hum like in um, i did that meditation just before our last transmission which was lucifer's fall and you saw the quality how the quality of the transmission changed because my crown chakra was as open as a highway so that is the power of om mani padme hum just remember not to overdo it because a lot of divine energy comes through when you are doing it so even if you chant for seven times that is enough if you are doing it more than 15 minutes then i would recommend to not do it any more during the day because you are going to have excess divine energy and you will not be able to handle it you will feel fatigue like sashwati mentioned you will be so tired and you will get body aches so there is a way to release that excess energy if you do a lot of jumping jacks or exercises to release the excess energy you may have to do 30 to 50 sets to release that so that that chanting is very powerful so that's about om mani padme hum a quick recap about uh, heart chakra meditation which we did on day 2 heart chakra meditation it has no limit you can do it as many times as you wish as many times as you want any time during the day there is no limits to that if you are entering into a very conflicting situation or you have to give some difficult feedback to someone and you don't know how to say it or if you have experienced a lot of stress grief sadness or in general if you just want to be in a state of bliss that's when you do the heart chakra meditation because it opens the heart wide and it heals you it also puts you in a very loving and positive state of being and uh, it is like it, it's very deeply nourishing and healing to open your heart chakra so this is where the benefits and applications of heart chakra meditation then on day 3 we did the self love exercise so i taught you one application of self love which i also did on myself yesterday when i was having the cramps you can heal your body with self love only now given that we were only doing it for a very short time you may not have experience the full scale benefits so i would recommend when you are doing that meditation you can do it when you are not feeling good like you are experiencing many troublesome emotions to get to know yourself very deeply and more closely that is one and the second time you can use the self love meditation is to healing your illnesses in the body whenever you are having discomfort you can use the self love to talk to that part of the body and send self loving energies so this is where you can use the self love meditation so today we are going to do the soul meditation now i don't want you to have any kind of expectations because the best way to meditate is to not have any expectations i'll just give you the instructions as to how to do it and share the benefits after the meditation instead of before so that you don't go in with some expectation as to i oh i am going to experience this or experience that just have that experience just experience it in the body and see what happens to you so how do we do the soul meditation when we are doing the soul meditation what we are doing is basically taking our perspective from the physical self and we are upgrading it to the soul level now the soul is in the seventh dimension maybe a little bit of background will help so you think you have only a physical body but what you don't realize is there are many other layers to your body which is not visible to you the immediate layer around your body is your etheric body or etheric aura that is in the fourth dimension and for us pranic healers we can scan the etheric aura with the hands your chakras are in the etheric aura so that's why we can scan the energies of the chakras whether it's blocked or balanced with our hands 
it can be felt with the hands if you are training your hands to do so that's possible so i think the etheric body is the only aura which can be sensed by the hand and if you stare at somebody long enough you'll start seeing their aura also the color of the aura a person will start having a outline around them if you stare at them without blinking so the etheric body is the only body which can be made visible if you are sensitive enough either by scanning with your hands or focusing your vision in such a way that you are able to perceive the etheric body around a person it requires some practice and training but it's possible outside the etheric layer there is the astral body or the it's also called the emotional body this is where your emotions reside and this body interpenetrates your physical body as well as the etheric body so these layers are not separate they are enmeshed together and they are also piercing your body like they are within you so when you feel the emotions the emotions are felt in the emotional aura that's where the emotions are produced so whenever you're feeling them that's the aura that's the body that gets affected and when you do astral travels you are basically visiting that aura you are shifting your perspective from the physical to the astral realm and that dimension you are traveling that is what the astral realm is you are basically switching your perspective to your astral dimension then there is the mental body or the mental aura which is in the sixth dimension the astral is in the fifth the etheric is in the fourth the mental body is where thoughts are created again that is enmeshed with your emotional or astral body etheric body and physical body they are enmeshed together and because they are enmeshed every thought creates an emotion they are not separate like you cannot create a thought without creating a corresponding emotion or you cannot create an emotion without having a corresponding thought they are connected so all your positive and negative thoughts reside in the mental body and the last layer is the spiritual aura or the causal body that is the house of your soul that is in the seventh dimension so basically your physical body is inside your soul your soul is much bigger your soul is huge in size you have no idea physically speaking so you are your body is housed inside the soul and all these layers except for the etheric body everything is non physical in in its nature they are intermingled with each other so what we are going to do in this meditation is shift our physical first hand perspective to the soul perspective in the seventh dimension and when you are doing that some of you may accidentally end up astral projecting meaning shifting to the astral realm so if you end up doing that some of you may not experience it in the first uh, meditation itself and that is okay so in the first meditation don't expect anything it may take you four times five times 10 times 100 times 1000 times i don't know how many times it's going to take but that is going to happen so i remember when i did the soul meditation i experienced as if something is about to leave my body like there's a sensation of something like detaching and wanting to go out and my experience was like i was about to as if i am about to fall asleep and i'm just trying to wake myself up and i'm trying to fall asleep again and as if i'm trying to wake myself up but i'm not sleeping i'm awake but as if something is just trying to separate and go in a different realm so basically it's the my perspective shifting to the astral realm it's trying to do that but i'm not letting it because i'm not used to it that's a, that's the first experience i had so some of you may experience that some of you may not experience anything and that's all right because it's your first time there are many other experiences you may have which i'm going to say at the end not now because i want you to go without any expectation go with a place of curiosity and just experience whatever you are experiencing without any insistence without any expectations 
So how do we do this meditation? Very simple. It is very, 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 very simple. You can say it out loudly or you can say it silently in your head that I am a soul. That is the only sentence you have to keep repeating in a loop. That's the only sentence you have to keep saying it in a loop repeatedly without any breaks. You can take breathing breaks. For those who have difficulty focusing, like if you find your mind wandering in between, that's all right. Just bring your attention back to that sentence, I am a soul. If you like to visualize, visualize it in your mind's eye, I am a soul. If you have trouble staying focused, say it out loud. That your own voice will help you stay focused in that idea that you are a soul. So I'm going to say it out loudly so that you can stay focused and you can either repeat it with me or you can say it silently in your head or say it after me. Do it whichever way you wish. It works in all ways. So yeah, that is about it. Before I move on, I wanted to make sure I answer your questions. Do you have any questions around this? Anything that's not clear? Anything that's confusing? What is the suggested time to do that? Uh, what do you mean by time? Like what time of the day? No, like, sorry, the length. As how, long as you wish to. Okay. As long There's as you a wish bit. to. Okay. Sometimes you will so, notice that you are able to dive deep into the experience very fast. Sometimes it will take you longer time. So I don't want to bind you with time. Take as yeah. much time as you need. What is the purpose specifically of this one, this meditation? Merging with the soul. You okay. are going to and shift it's... your perspective to the soul level. Right. Uh, I'm just thinking, for example, on a daily basis, why would I, would I choose to do this meditation rather than the other one, you know, like the other ones? I'm, I'm not going to answer that now because if I do okay. that, you're going to enter the meditation with expectations. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. I will explain that Thank at you. the end because when you do it, the answer to a question will come. Okay. And if it doesn't, I'm anyway going to do it at the end. But right now, focus on what you're going to experience. Perfect. So, any other questions? Any doubts? Anybody? All right, let's get started. I'm going to mute you all and follow my voice. You can do it on your own in the same way. Either you can repeat it with me or you can say it after me. As you wish, relax your body. Relax your body. If you want to lie down, you can lie down. If you want to sit in a different angle, sit in a different angle, whatever helps you relax. Take a few deep breaths. Deep belly breaths. Now, 
stay with me or after me. I am a soul. I am not the body. I am not my emotions. I am not my thoughts. I am not my mind. My mind is a subtle instrument of my soul. My reality, my true self is my soul. I am a 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 beam of divine light. I am a beam of divine intelligence. I am a beam of divine power. I am a being of divine love. I am a divine being. I am a soul. 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 
a una sola. A una sola. A una sola. A una sola. I'm a soul. 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 I am not my body. I am not my mind. I am not my thoughts. I am not my emotions. The mind is a subtle instrument of the soul. I am a divine being made of divine love, divine power, divine light, divine mercy, divine wisdom, divine intelligence. I am a soul. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so 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 I'm a being of divine light 
divine power, divine love, divine wisdom, divine mercy, divine compassion, divine intelligence. I am one with my soul. I am a 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 soul. Now, gently return to your body. Return to your body. Gently. Feel your eyes. Feel your body. Gently open your eyes. Gently. Gently. Now, gently massage your face like this, just your head. What we are doing is grounding. Gently massage your body just by touching. Touch all of your body, your hands, your leg, your back, your stomach your head, face, you are grounding, you are coming back to the body, you are coming back in this room, grounding yourself in the body again, coming back to this perspective. So, touching your body and gently pressing it allows you to do that, have that experience. So, I did it for a very short time. Usually when I do it, I don't keep a track of time. I don't know how long I'm doing it. I personally prefer doing it silently because that allows me to be totally focused. So find your rhythm, whether you want to do it silently or loudly, whichever way you get to have that divine experience. So the words that I was using was from uh, some of them were from uh, Rani Keeling as taught by Grandmaster Chowakok Sri. So you may or may not need those words. You can simply say I am a soul and that is also enough. So this meditation of I am a soul was given to me by Amun Ra. I am channeling him in a book. And this was the first thing he gave me that do this meditation for seven days and watch your life change so before i share the benefits of this meditation if you wish you can share what did you experience i can share go ahead um <clears throat> I uh, did uh, extend it, you know, like after you said several times, um, I felt like I went to another realm, like I was not basically in the body. And I did uh, kind of like almost <laughs> yeah. fell off, which felt like um, I went to sleep, but it was not actually because I was conscious, but it was like this. <laughs> I, it happened like several times, I'll say like five times or something like that. And um, um, felt like 
I was aware of more of myself that was like doing something else <laughs> at the same time, you know. Because that your sense. soul is doing many things while you are talking with me. Each dimensional existence of you is doing something else in its own dimension. Yeah. You are multidimensional. Yeah. yeah. So, so that I kind of got a glimpse of that. Yeah. So when you do this experience, you will get to see what the other versions of you are doing in the other dimensions. Mm. The soul is doing mm. something in its own dimension. Your astral body is doing having conversations with other beings in that dimension. Your mental body yeah. is having connections with somebody else in that dimension, and all is happening at the same time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that that happened. I'm like, you know, kind of picking on it. It's something like that. So yeah, what it was pretty was happening, Yeah. So what was happening is your uh, perspective was trying to get out of the body and go to the re astral realm. So you may feel something is wanting to leave the body. So don't get yeah. scared. Don't get scared if that happens. Basically, you will end up astral projecting, like projecting a portion of your consciousness into the astral realm and you'll be able to see your mm. body from above. So mm. don't get scared if that happens. You are you are not dead. It means that you have shifted to the astral realm in the fifth dimension. Yeah. And if you want to I come grow, back... Yeah. If you want to come back to the body, just think of the body that I want to go back and it you will immediately snap back. Yeah. What were you saying? No, I was going to say I am familiar with astral projection because I grew up uh, doing that, like not uh, intentionally, but uh, having those experiences. Yeah. So, so I, I I know, but I don't know how to make it happen. And, you know, I, I never actually got into that to like purposefully do astral projection but interesting i'll be aware i'll be you know more aware of that now so if you do this soul meditation regularly now i cannot guarantee when you will experience this it could happen the first time the second time the fifth time the hundredth time it can happen at any number yeah. of soul meditations but you will end up astral projecting you'll leave the mm -hmm. body so this mm. is one of the benefits of doing this meditation. It's not only that you mm. will go to the astral realm, you may end up in the mental realm or in the seventh dimension also. Mm. It mm. could be in yeah. any of those layers. I don't know which one it's going to be. I thought you said we will end up in the mental institution, right? <laughs> I'm no, just no, joking. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the mental realm. Yeah. That's a, that's even higher dimensional than astral realms. That's another mm -hmm. dimension of you. You'll get to know that part of you. That's one of the benefits. Uh, some other benefits, some of you will not experience the astral uh, projection. Some of you will suddenly, after doing this meditation very repeatedly and being very still, you may notice a dancing light. Mm. Flickering, sometimes it can be a flickering light, sometimes it can be a dancing light. It can appear in any way, but a bluish flame or a bluish light dancing around or flickering and it will steady itself as you keep doing the meditation often. So if you see that imagery in your mind's eye, like not trying to visualize it, but it will appear in your mind's eye, like actually you'll be able to see even with your eyes closed. So if that happens, like what I mean is when your eyes is closed, you will only see darkness, right? After a couple of times when you do this, I don't know what amount of time you'll start seeing a blue flame. It will flicker at first, then it will become steady or it, it may be a dancing light dancing around. It doesn't matter in which way it appears in that complete darkness. That is your soul. And if you see that light, try to merge with it, merge with it. And you will experience physically what it feels like to be a soul. Physically, you will be experientially experiencing what it, be, what it feels like to be a soul. And that is a mind-blowing experience. I cannot describe it in words. There are no words to describe that. 
I cannot describe it in words. So that is another experience. So every person's experience is going to be unique. Not every person will experience each of these things. Some of you will experience this. Some of you will experience that. So don't, the reason why I didn't say these things before the meditation is you'll go with the expectation, oh, this is going to happen. It may not happen. So don't go with the expectation, something will happen. Just go with the expectation of, just go with like blank, like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to be curious and stay open. Like just enjoy the process of declaring that I am a soul. Another effect that you will experience for, I mean, by doing this meditation is you will start having your soul perspective about life. Meaning it is very useful when you are having life challenges, you will start realizing why you created those challenges because all the experiences in your life are created by you this is the fundamental truth so when you merge with your soul's consciousness even if you don't experience nothing in this meditation also if you if you just do it every day you suddenly start seeing if some challenge comes up you'll be like oh i know why i created that even though it's annoying it is going to create this kind of a growth in me. That's why I created it. Oh, I know why that is happening. Even though it's not going as per my plan, I can see how we ca it can still assist me in my personal growth or whatever I wish to do. Or if something is not working out as per your plan, then you will be like, oh, I know why it is because that's not my path. So you will start having these higher perspective like not the physical perspective but a higher level perspective of why you are creating these experiences in your life and that is very like liberating you will not feel a victim anymore you will not feel like you are life's victim you will not feel like things are happening to you you will not feel like blaming anybody for anything anymore you will know that oh I created it so the question is why? And you'll be able to see the why in it. What kind of growth, you, what, what kind of life path have you chosen? And why you chose that? And why do you wish to experience this? That kind of clarity will start appearing in your life. And that is how you raise your vibration. Because when you are operating above 175,000 cycles per second, you cannot be or stay in a state of victimhood anymore. You, you will not be able to. Like then you would be shifting your perspective to, yes, I'm creating my reality. The question is why? How will it create growth in me? When you have your, when your default state, your default way of thinking has shifted to this perspective, no matter what the circumstances, you are not blaming anybody else. You are like, yeah, I know I created it. I may not be able to figure it out why I created it right now, but I know it's going to come to me. When you are operating from this perspective, know that your vibration has raised above 175,000 cycles per second. It is probably higher. So in the range between 175 to 180,000 cycles per second, you still may have the tendency to go back to your old patterns of thinking but it will not last if you continue doing the soul meditation your vibration is going to raise and you will become more accepting of people of all the challenges you are facing all the things that are happening because you will know you are the one at the creator you are the creator you are at the cause and then you'll start approaching challenges with excitement instead of, oh, I don't want it. So it 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 gives you like, a, what do I say? Like a bulletproof demeanor. Like nothing can affect you kind of state. So there are many, many other benefits of doing this meditation. Like, some of them are so unique that it may not have happened to me, but it may happen to you because every person's experience is different. Any thoughts around this? 
Yes, I was wondering how often do you do this meditation? Like once a week or twice a week, every day? Ideally, ideally, we should strive to do it every day. I cannot do it every day because I'm doing the other meditations. I do Om Mani Padme Ham. Sometimes I do the Heart Chakra meditation. So my objective is I do at least one meditation a day. It doesn't matter which one. Okay. And I also do the higher soul meditation more often than the soul one, which I'm going to teach you tomorrow. I mean, uh, Monday, right? You said? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday. You yeah, said, Monday. yes. You said on the, on the yeah, email yeah, 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 there. Yeah. 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 I, I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. <clears throat> no problem. Um, so I really, really like this meditation. I'm feeling very connected to this. And, um, I was wondering if how uh, it would be nice. I was imagining to do this like before going going to sleep. That would be amazing. That would because why amazing you're laying effect. down? Because anyway, you will be in the astral realm. So this will be like boom, like a going. Yeah, it's like going there, but maybe with more awareness. Maybe I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, do it. Yeah, you can actually not only so now that you're thinking about it. You can either do it before you go to sleep or even better, if you have just woken up and you have not opened your eyes yet in the morning mm -hmm. and if you have some time, if you're not in a hurry, because sometimes you, if you have too many things, you'll wake up with, no, I have to do those things. Then you'll not be in that peaceful state of mind. Yeah. So when you know yeah. that there is nothing today and you have woken up and you have not opened your eyes yet, you're still in that sleepy state in the alpha or the yeah. theta state then you yeah. can silently do it inside your head. Like, I'm a soul, I'm a soul, I'm a soul. That's the best time to do astral projection because yes. you're still in that state of mind. Yes. So it what's happen been like happening? Instantly. Yeah, so I've been, for like, for the past week or so, I've been uh, waking up always, like, at, like, uh, three-something, you know, almost 4 a.m. And... I do go into a meditative state, but like I didn't have like a a, a like a, a style. I was just kind of like in myself and kind of present. But I think that could be a good one too as well. When I wake and up in the, the middle of the night, the timing is even even better because at three and four, that time your pineal gland is like at the most highest peak mm. activity. Yeah, so great that came at the right time for me <laughs> I'm gonna yep. use that yep. moment that I wake up in the middle of the night and like you know okay I know I have to receive some downloads okay now <laughs> give it give it to me <laughs> I don't even go to sleep like I, I accept you know it's like okay let's let's go <laughs> like you don't even have to sit up you can just like you just woke Stay up laying down yeah and you're yeah. still laying down and you're like, I'm a soul, I'm a soul, I'm a soul, I'm a soul, I'm a soul. And yeah. just watch how fast either you'll astral project or you'll receive downloads or I don't know what's going to happen, but something is definitely going to happen. Yeah. Great. Thank you for that. This is amazing. Yeah. Really like it. Thank you. I know. This is amazing. So, uh, but you can also do it throughout the day. I mean, for those who do not wish to use it at night, you can use it at other times of the day also. It's not like you have to do it only during those times. Like, I just wanted to yeah. share that also. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how, like, simple it is? And, uh, and even though we don't do those things because there is, like, that not believing that anything could happen and it's, we don't even try it out, it's like you know it's some it's I know. crazy yeah so Spir that's spirituality it's much more it's very simple, than... simple it's yeah it's the simplicity yeah. could be fooling like oh yeah i can actually project with something so simple nah that's not yeah. gonna happen that's what yeah and do, then right? like the one yesterday you can heal yourself you know like we we know we overcomplicate we're like no we gotta you know go through those doctors that they know better than I do about my body right like <laughs> anyways but <laughs> I so think it's funny me, I, yeah tell me how yeah. what you experience when you do it at night or day or whenever you feel like because I'm 100% sure every one of you are going to have a different experience I'm 100% sure of that and some of them I may not have experienced so for me it's like uh 
it's like i get to learn something new so please share it with me yes where would you like it that to be shared to at the the course page did you create a course page for this or no yeah yeah there is a mini like page. Uh, anywhere you can share web. it on like the on the facebook group that we are already okay. in like the channeling group or you can share it in the course page where you i think already left a comment you can post it anywhere it doesn't matter i'll just get to know wherever you do it you can share an email uh, whatever it is like i don't care i just want to know sounds good <laughs> yeah